Good morning, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I literally just woke up. Maybe like 10 minutes ago. And then I figured I'll just stop by here and say hi. And just chat a little bit. Um, yesterday, before I went to bed, I was just listening to this uh, preaching on YouTube. Uh, Pastor Michael Todd from Transformation Church. And um, anyway, it it was uh, I was listening to the little um, Siri on a uh, crazy face. But um, anyway, as I'm just list, I was listening to it. It wasn't really. It's not like I'm talking about anything that he said. It's just I just realized that um, I never actually gave my testimony on you know, God, on why I love God so much or why do I talk about God. But then I, I could never answer that question before. Like, why God? Why do you love God? Why do you believe in God? And then yesterday as I was listening to that uh, preaching, I realized hey, now I know I know the answer. I know why. And it's simple. Like, if someone asked me, um, why are you so stuck up on God? And then... The answer is as simple as it's because I know who I used to be without God. I know what I used to do before God. Um, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> I just have to say that. Uh, I wasn't happy. I was a very challenging kid. Um, angry all the time. I was so angry. I, I was angry at everyone. I was angry at my parents. I was angry from at my dad for leaving us back home and then coming here to figure out the best life for us. I was angry at my mom for working so much so we can be happy. We can go to the best school. I was angry at my mom for expecting me to be a good daughter, to do well in school, to be intelligent. I was just angry. I was angry when we moved to Canada. Angry that I couldn't understand anybody because we lived in um sorry about my kid. I can't hear anything. Uh, we lived in an English uh, city and then I didn't know how to speak English. I was angry. I just I was angry. Angry that I had brothers and sisters. Angry of the situation in which I was. Angry that now we're in Canada. I had to do the dishes. I had to cook. Like, I never used to do that back home. I was just a child full of anger. And my anger wasn't just like, I'm angry and you know that I'm angry. No, it was, I'm angry. And if you say a word to me that I didn't appreciate, I didn't, I didn't even care what was beside me. I'll just pick up that object and throw it at you. It could, be, I'd throw a knife at my brother once. I didn't even know it was a knife. Like, imagine if it had, like, imagine. Okay, like I threw a rock at my other, like, I remember one day I took, my brother pissed me off so bad. Like, he didn't even do anything. I took his head, I put it between two chair arm, and then I was squeeze, squeezing the chair arms. Like, do you, can you imagine to be that angry, okay? I was angry, and that was me before God. So, why am I stuck up on God? Why do I say God is my everything? Why do I believe in God? It's because I know who I used to be without Him. The things I used to do. And that's just like, you know, one part of who I used to be. And eventually, as we get to know each other, you guys will know a little bit more about me and the things that I've done. But, just to give you a little bit of my testimony. I, I was just an angry child. And I still remember the two days that God literally brought me down to my knees with shedding all the tears that my body could contain. Like, just because he was reminding me of the love he has for me, of him being love, of him waiting for me to open up my heart, to let him in, to accept him, to allow him to love me, to allow him to, allow him to show me who he is, what he can do for me. And uh, the first time that happened, well, I'll talk about this in another video so you guys will know the story. Like, my first time when I accepted God, but then how long it took for me to let him in, to let him actually change me to something. So today I can say I no longer have that anger, and it's by God's grace. And I will forever be thankful because that anger could have sent me to jail forever, or that anger could, I could 
probably maybe been dead by now because of that anger or it could have sent it could have done something to my family that was beyond repair just an anchor out of nowhere for no reason and that was just the devil the devil you know lying to me letting me know that i had reasons to be mad that your dad left well he never he was never really gone to be like i i'm leaving you behind i don't want your kids no he left to come to canada so he could prepare a better place for us find us a place make a better life for us which eventually it took a long time but it happened he never gave up it happened and we came here and we stayed with him so you know it was just this type of things like my mom had to work a lot yes so then she could send us to the bad school because she believed in education good education which led us to us being where we are today so why god because i know who i used to be okay i know who i used to be in french back home i was so mad this is the name they used to call me chez michon if you see if you speak french you understand what it means but in english it just means um a mean dog, a scary dog. That's how that that was my nickname. Scary dog. Oh, oh, mean dog. Yeah, that was my nickname. That's how bad. That's bad. That's how bad. Like that's how bad my anger was. A little girl full of anger. Like, oh Jesus, I I can't thank you enough for taking me out of that situation. For taking me out of that state. And if you find yourself in this situation, I know that it is possible. To become a new person, to become a changed person with a happy heart, with a loving heart, with a peaceful heart. Like it is possible. Okay? Just let God in. Go in the room, go on your knees, and just say, God, I'm nothing without you. I need you. My heart is full of anger. My mind is full of anger i am mad all the time i'm pissed at everyone i'm pissed at strangers i just want to pick a fight with everybody i'm insulting everyone come take over and take away this anger take away this anger the bible says i don't remember in which book and i should have you know known that but it says who, like, all of you who have you know burden who your heart like anxiety in your heart and anything come to god just give it to him and he will happily happily take that away from you he that's what he's here for he is love he has the love the love that you're looking for the peace that you're looking for god has it he's the one he's the solution so if you are out there listening to this and then you know I have to close the door because my little one is going to crawl outside into the stairs. But if you're out there and you find that you were in the same situation in which I, I was, I found myself, give your life to God. Give your heart to God. And you know, it's a process. Our Christian life is a process. Nobody expect, the, I don't, ex, nobody should expect uh, uh, you to become perfect. Uh, uh, uh. In French, it's like, from you know, to come perfect, just as if today you invite God, they expect perfection. People, Christian, life is not that. It's a journey. A journey of faith. A journey of love. A journey of believing in Christ every day. If you do something that's bad today, you come back to, you know, you go back to your knees. You come back to God. You tell him, forgive me. I did this. Give me strength so I can do better, so I can be better. And you read your word. You read You read the word. You read the Bible. You read the Bible. You read the Bible because for us Christians, that's our food. That's how we grow. That's what we need to eat to grow, to become big, to learn more, to understand more. So if, if you stumble upon this testimony of mine, it's a short one. If you stumble on it and then you know that you, 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 you're full of anger, you're a person who was also angry all the time. Just go to a room. Go somewhere where it's private. It's, you know, you just, it's just you. But, you know, go on your knees and tell God, I'm here. I'm here. God, I may not know who you are, but you know who I am. You know my heart. You know my life. You know what's going on deep uh, down there. I'm here. My heart is heavy. My heart is not, I'm not happy. I'm not at peace. I'm here, God. I am angry all the time, but I'm tired of being angry all the time. I no longer want to be angry. I want to be happy. I want to be at peace. Can you please take over?
Can you come in my heart? Can you come take refuge in my heart, in my life? Be my God, be my Savior, be my Father, be my friend, be my brother, be my sister, be my parents, be my joy. So I invite you to do that prayer. And trust me, the Lord, the God Almighty, the Savior, the only one, the, the, the creator of heaven and, 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 and earth, he will come on to you. He will take over. Like I said, Christian life, accepting Jesus as your Savior, as your God, is a process. It's a journey. Today we feel good. Tomorrow we might feel down. And it doesn't mean that because God is with you that you won't go to trials and challenges. Yes, you will. But he will never leave you nor forsaken you. He will always be by your side. He will fight those battles for you. With God, the next day is always better. Tomorrow is always better. And it's guaranteed. So I just wanted to stop by today. I just woke up, but then I had it. It was, it's been sitting on my, in my, you know, in my heart since yesterday night. And then I'm like, someone, someone, someone out there needs to hear this. So I came in and I'm doing this for you guys, for someone out there. God is here, there at the door, waiting, knocking, waiting just for you to open up the door. And I hope you do that. I hope you take that step so you can allow God to come into your life. Well, that's all for me, and uh, thank you so much. If you have any comment, if you want to chat more, if you'd like to know more a little bit, leave them down below, and uh, yeah, we'll be doing this journey together. I'm not perfect. I still have a lot of flaws, but I'm allowing God to take over, to come in my life, to take refuge, and to work me, to change me. So God bless you all. Amen.